Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, we are doing our Sephora wish list uh, for the VIB sale coming up very, very soon. I believe it's the 26th for Rouge. Um, and then it goes on from there. I Let me check if I can find the details for you guys because as a YouTuber, I should know this crap, shouldn't I? All right, so for Rouge, it's 20% off this year's, which is different. April 26th through May 6th. VIB is 15% off May 2nd through May 6th. And Insider is May 2nd through the 6th as well for 10%. So as you can see, that the first thing that we have is that Sephora has changed it to 20% off. Typically, it's 15 they probably heard us moan and groan because obviously I feel like Ulta has the better deals as usual. And Sephora, you're late to the game. Ulta has won me over, especially since my local Sephora is now leaving. I ain't got anything of Sephora around me. It's just Ulta. But I have had points sitting around for so long. I finally was able to redeem uh, to get a $100 gift card. Plus, I still have another gift card that I haven't used for Sephora. So I wanted to do a wish list because I am going to spend this $100 plus my gift card at this sale. I am going to tell you which ones I am wanting, lusting over, and what products I'm definitely going to get. So you guys can either expect a review or a follow-up or something I will do a haul of the stuff I got um, I, I'm actually very excited to be honest with you guys I'm going back and forth but maybe you guys can give me more insight on some of these products because if you have used them I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are if it's even worth it because you guys know that I'm on a low buy but I have to take advantage because I got I was able to redeem my points if I didn't redeem my points I was not gonna get anything but since I redeemed my points I got so excited mr. man's like why are you jumping up and down and I explained to him mine he's like oh okay yeah he had no clue but I was very excited when I was able to redeem it also I just want to give you guys a heads up like I always do don't stress over the sale please don't stress over the sale you guys if you want something 99% of the time, whatever it is that you want, if you go directly to this, their own respective websites, if you want something from Bobby Brown, Natasha Denona, Tarte, Urban Decay, normally the brand themselves website does such a better discount, big time. I have been able to find certain things that I've been lusting over at 40% off, at 30% off, with free shipping, free gift with purchase. So don't stress over this sale, you guys. Sephora ain't got nothing on the actual brand websites. They do such better deals, hands down. If you're gonna purchase anything from Sephora that you're and you're like, no, I'm not really wanting anything, but I just wanna participate, the thing that I would recommend is get something that is exclusive to Sephora that you will not be able to find anywhere else. That's where you're gonna get your bang for your buck with the 20% off. Other than that, you guys, all this stuff that I'm going to talk to you guys about, I am pretty sure I can actually get at a better discount if I go directly to the company's website. I just want to let you guys know that I mention that every time I do these wish lists, but I just want to reiterate that because I have been able to get things at such a better deal directly from the website. So let's get started on our wish list. So we, I will put up pictures up on the screen as I usually do so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so two things that have caught my attention and I... I've been lusting over these for a long time and there are three shades of them only two are interesting to me and I know that they're sheer and I know that they're toppers and I know that they're creams so I have to use them more often but I feel like I would these are the Natasha Denona duochrome top coats I like the brown one and the burnt are uh, the brown mauve purple and then the burnt terracotta green Hands down, if I'm only going to pick one, it's the terracotta green one. These are $28 a piece, you guys. And I, I want both of them. I know they're sheer. I read reviews. I know some individuals who have them who say they're not all that it's cracked up to be. But I just, there's something about me wanting to try eye products for myself. It, anything else, I'll take everyone's word for it. Complexion products, lip products, cheek products. But when it comes to eye products, I as much as I hear people say, oh, they're not good, I still need to try them for myself. I'm that stubborn when it comes to eye products. So this is something I'm wanting to try. Now, this is another thing. Jouer Cosmetics. They recently came to um, Sephora, and there's two things that are I'm lusting over. 
The first one is the Rose Gold Blush Bouquet Dual Blush, and that is $30. And the other thing is something I mentioned in a Top Picks and Skips, and I still want it. My friends have gotten it, and they say it is all that it's cracked up to be. And that's the Bouquet D'Amour Six Shade Blush Palette, and that's $42. In all honesty, if I'm going to pick one of these two, it'll be the $42 blush palette. And I am like 95% sure this is one of the things I'm going to get. It's just something about it that still draws me to it. As much as blush as I have, I still like it. I, I don't own any Jouer blushes and this seems like it's the best bang for my buck. So I think this is something that I want to get bad. All right, so the next thing that I have here is Super Goop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen Broadband Spectrum SPF 40. This is $32. This has interested me, but I have done research and the sunscreen that I normally use is amazing. It's a Neutrogena one. I've used it now for going on two years. It's like I got it right when it first came out to the market and I've loved it ever since and I I know I'm good with the one that I have, but this is something that has always interested me because of the brand itself. Maybe I'll get a sample, deluxe sample size. Okay, that one has just moved to a deluxe sample size, but that's something that I'm curious about. It has worn Allure Awards. It's $32, you guys. The last time I spent $37 on a sunscreen, I never used it. These are new, but you guys know I am not buying any lip products, but this is new and I wanted to share with you guys because I've heard great things about it. There is a drugstore dupe, so it's the Sephora Collection Rouge Lacquers. These are $13. These are very reminiscent of the L'Oreal Color Rouge or the Maybelline ones that are a, a sheer wash of lip color, but it's super shiny and balmy like I guess. They have a ton of shades, a ton of shades. Oh goodness, but I am very interested in these. There are so many. I gotta stop myself at $13 for 20% off. I think that's good. But I'm not buying any lip products, you guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright, here's another thing. This is this is what's touring me apart. If I don't get anything else, I would get these two things. Because I this is something that I wanted on my wish list since the beginning of this year, and I might be interested in it. This is the Pat McGrath. Uh, La Vite and Rose eyeshadow palette for $55 and the other one that I really want is the Sublime Bronze Temptation for $55. If I'm only going to get two things it would just be these two eyeshadow palettes because they're expensive. But for $55 get them for 20% off. This is where I need your help because I don't know what to do. Oh goodness. Those two eyeshadow palettes are just killing me. They are killing me. I really want them, but do I really want another eyeshadow palette? Because I've already gotten a few recently. Should I hold my horses and wait for my birthday or wait till the other VIB sale? I don't know. You guys need to help me out with this because I'm torn and I'm trying to be good. The next thing, this is recently new, but since I have the, the older one, I wanted to try this one, and I think this is perfect for me. This is the Fenty Beauty Little Bronze Duo. It comes with a bronzer and a, what, a contour stick, right? I think so. Let's see. A, yes, a shimmer skin stick. So you got the highlighter and the balm gloss, I think that's what you call it, and now they came out with one but with a bronzer in it. And it, and it comes with cinnamon, warm tone for light skin tone. Light to medium, is it? No, light skin tone. So it's only for light skin tone, but it's $24. Should I wait on this like I did with the other one? I don't know. I'd be interested in it. Decisions, decisions. Here's another thing. I've always wanted this one. Uh, this is another one where I'm like, if I get the Jouer blush palette, I'm going to get this to correspond with it. This is the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. It's $40. I don't own this one. This is one of the ones that I have always wanted and I didn't buy it at the time. And this was years ago. And now that I see it back, I'm like, I've always wanted. Honestly, I've even searched for this on Poshmark. I searched for it on Mercari. I have really wanted this blush or highlighting palette for a very, very long time. So it's not like something where I just saw it on here and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember I wanted that. No, I've actually researched to try to get this on a secondhand market and I just never pulled the plug. And now I see it on here. So if I get the Jouer palette, I'm going to get this one. 
but that's where I'm torn because if it's the Jouer palette and this highlighter, the two top coat things, or just the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes, I don't know. This is something I'm definitely getting no matter what happens. The Ordinary AAH 30% and BHA 2% Peeling Solution. I've been noticing I have a lot of like texture on my skin, at least these areas right here, and I'm trying to use what I have, but nothing really seems to give me 100% the results that I want. So I don't want to spend too much money on something because I don't know exactly what I need, and this is perfect. This is $7.20, and I could buy it right now if I want to, but it's the point of me getting it at the VIP sale. Um, this is going to go in my cart regardless. It doesn't matter. It's going in my cart. It is new. It's saying it's new. I don't know how new it is, but I do want to get that. I'm definitely getting that no matter what. This caught my attention. I This brand has recently like sprung up out of nowhere and these caught my attention. I probably won't be getting any of these, but this is on my wish list. It's the Kaja Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigments. Do I need to say anything else, you guys? Because these, anything eye pigment, like the Rose Quartz one is Gorgeous, mystical, which is a shimmering soft lavender, beautiful, cosmic, a shimmering teal, magic, shimmering amethyst. Like, they're sixteen dollars a piece. These are new, but how big are these? They're eight point five grams, point twenty nine ounces. Like, I need to see how big these are. The actual um, swatches of these look pretty. But do I really need another one, another product like this? This is something that's probably not going to go in my cart, but it is on my wish list. Maybe I need to see some reviews on this to see if it's worth it. Before the Before Alex would have jumped on this and bought all of them, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm being good. All right, so here's another thing that I'm interested in. This, remember I mentioned, you guys, I'm looking for some peels or something. This is the Caudalie Glycolic Peel. This is $39. It has great reviews. It is clean product. I tend to like Caudalie products. It's a gentle glycolic acid peel mask to reveal softer, brighter, and more even skin. Should I get this? I don't know. I've looked to see if I have a sample size of it. I don't think I do to try it out. I'm going to look further to see if I can find one. So then maybe I could try the peel as a sample and then see if I'm interested in that. Because that's something that I have been eyeing as well. Viseart, their Petite Pro 5 and 4, which 4 is uh, Apricotine, Apricotine, and Solil is the number 5. They're both $30 a piece. This is typically when I would buy my Viseart palettes is during this time of the year. These are the Petite ones. They're gorgeous. The Pro 4 is out of stock at the moment, so if I can't get Pro 4, I'm not going to get Pro 5. I tend to get them as a pair because then it drives me nuts that I got one out of sale and I didn't get the other one out of sale. That's just my mentality. So if the number four doesn't come in stock, this is definitely not going to happen. They are permanent, right? These are permanent. They're only a line only. So I'm not too in a rush to get these, but they are on my wish list. The other one that I would love is the Koi one. This is $80 at 20% off. It To me, it's worth it. The Koi one is just those all those shimmery shades that I love, and I have seen quite a few tutorials with this one. I've seen swatches of it. It's definitely up there, but again, I'd rather try the Pat McGrath at this moment because I haven't tried her formula than jump on this one, but it is on my wish list. It's sitting there. I have a few more things. This is the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals Eyeshadow Palette. It's $42. It has been out of stock since it came out, you guys. I think I saw it in stock. I put it in my cart, but I told myself I'm not buying anything. Literally, hours later, I saw it was sold out and it has yet to get restocked. It's $42. If it does get restocked, this is something I might jump on. It just looks so pretty, and I don't understand why it's out of stock. I don't get it. I might even wait and see if Violet Voss on their website themselves might be do might do it like a Memorial Day weekend sale. I might get it there because sometimes they do a good deal there. I'm I'm interested. So it is on my wish list. I probably won't get it because now that I think about it, I could probably get a better sale at Violet Voss's website. But it is there. Last but not least is these Mark Jacob. Beauty Sequence Glam Glitter Eyeshadows. All right, so all of my friends have them, and they enjoy them, and you guys, these are gorgeous. Ugh, these things always sucker me in, and I know. I have my, my uh, Bodyography ones. I have my uh, Tarte ones that I love. 
I have my L'Oreal ones that I really love. So do I need another one of these? No, but they're $28 and at 20% off, they might be worth it. Oh. Guys, that's another one that might jump in there. It's between those and the glitter toppers. So this is where I stand. This is my wish list. It's not a lot. I try not to overdo it, but this is what I'm looking at. I need your help to decide how am I going to spend this at least $100 plus my gift card. How do I go about it? You guys know definitely I'm going to go for the ordinary regardless of what I get that will definitely be on there. But you guys have seen my pairings. I don't know what to do. If you have any of these products that I mentioned, let me know in the comment section if they are genuinely worth it or not. Um, anything that I do purchase, you will see on my channel. So it's also something that if you're interested in seeing on my channel, I know at the end of the day it's going to be in my collection and I need to enjoy it as well. But I wouldn't have put it in this wish list if I wasn't going to genuinely enjoy it regardless. So that is it. I will list the link, all these down in the description box, you guys. If you are shopping the sale, just pace yourselves. Don't go crazy. You guys know I mentioned that their websites have better deals. So don't go crazy. Do not go crazy. This will be my very first Sephora order this year. I have not bought anything at Sephora at all this year, except for in-store. I haven't purchased an online order. Like I went to get that Fenty thing, but that was in-store. I haven't purchased anything online. And normally by now I would have hit the rouge. That's how bad I was. So that's a lot thing to me. I'm very, very proud of myself this year. So anyway, that is it you guys. I will catch you guys most likely with a video tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have a wish list yourself, put it down in the comment section. I'd love to see what you guys are interested in purchasing if you are participating. I will catch you guys tomorrow, like I said. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.